Why I chose Modbus for home automation? Few simple reasons. First of all, simplicity. See? Few wires. That's all I need. If I would run this over a TCP IP, I would need switches at every end. And if those are down, the network is down and things are not working. Well, next thing, none of this is connected to the internet. Yeah, it's just going to run, mind its own business, not cloud. For me, that's a big bonus. Next thing is, let me just run this rig for you. I'm running from a battery. So, I have a master that controls these two very simple tasks, to uh, be honest with you. So, this one just turns the LED on and off, and this one switches on and off the uh, relay. However, you can configure it in neat ways. For instance, if I unplug the second slave that uh, toggles the relay, the first one stops. I can set up basic rules that says if this one is not receiving packets, stop doing here whatever you're doing. And this might be super convenient for certain setups. If I can just one-handedly jam it in, here we go. Now it should restart the sequence. So you can do quite clever things. Obviously, you can have humidity sensors, other stuff involved, etc., etc. This is the brain. So if this dies, guess what's happened? Don't gonna happen. All of them will stop doing whatever they are doing because they are dumb. This is the big brain. So I'm going to try and plug it in with one hand again. Here we go. It's powered up. And these start to do it in again. So I dare you to try and do such a thing with something else. I'm sure you can, but it's super easy with Modbus. And uh, yeah, I can have this uh, use one wire, my power line idea to distribute power and signal across the entire house. So uh, those are just few reasons why I want to use Modbus for my home automation. Plus, it's an industrial standard, standard yeah. and uh, it just works. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.